This is Robin, who is our toddler robot that we've developed at the uh, University of Hertfordshire. And Robin has diabetes. The purpose of Robin is that children can interact with him. And this is children who have been diagnosed with diabetes themselves. But they get to look after Robin, and perhaps during that interaction, Robin will have maybe a hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, or a hyperglycemia, high blood sugar. And the children can experience looking after him. They can give him insulin to get the blood sugar down, or they can give him uh, sweets or sugary food or sugary drink or something to get the, the blood sugar back up again. It has internal needs and motivations to do things, so it gets hungry, it gets interested in food, yeah, yeah. likes people, it's a very social robot, so it needs to see people and to play cattle, for example. Uh, so you really have to interact with it, it likes to be hugged, uh, gets tired and wants to sleep, um, drink, likes dancing. Hello. It's a commercial robot, um, it's called a NOW, produced by a company called Aldebaran. What we've done is the software, so modelling diabetes, uh, modelling the, the glucose and the insulin, and its behaviours, how it reacts to that, and its uh, emotions, it feels happy uh, when it gets to play with people, and how those emotions drive its behaviour. Yum yum. So this device is actually uh, is a Lego uh, Mindstorm controller, but we use it to um, simulate a glucometer. So children can use it to check the level of glucose of the robot and see whether it's too high, which is the case now. And in that case, uh, they can see they, they're suggested, okay, a small dose, a medium dose, a large dose, or check the ketones, and then they can just inject it, inject some insulin. Uh, or if it's too low, then they can yum, yum. give it corrections. Yum, yum. What we really want is that they can have the correct behaviour, so they can transfer the theoretical knowledge into uh, applying it to their everyday lives. So they can know in themselves if they feel a bit tired, what memories does that set off in the mind? It, maybe it reminds them of Robin and reminds them of when Robin was tired and what did they do?